Um, and we're going to start the direct field experience presentation. So, um, Entrepreneurship for the Public Good is a Berea College multi-year learning experience for undergraduate students um, to practice and implement entrepreneurial leadership skills in rural communities around Central Appalachia. Um, this is the second summer experience of the EPG program where students can travel anywhere to complete internships um, and demonstrate the six EPG abilities that they learned the first summer um, a part of their program. This year we had 22 students complete DFEs across 15 majors globally. And to begin we're going to start with Natalie Romeo who spent her summer at the Stagecraft Institute of Los Angeles working with industry equipment and professionals in the theater sector. So Natalie, if you want to go ahead and come on up. Hello. I bet you're all wondering about the frog. This frog is named for Theron Musser, who was the first lighting designer on Broadway to use a fully computerized lighting console. She was nominated for 10 Tony Awards and won three of them, including for the popular musical A Chorus Line. She is known as the Dean of American Stage Lighting, and she is a graduate of Berea College, class of 1946. Theron the Frog is the mascot of the Stagecraft Institute of Las Vegas, where I spent eight weeks of my summer. Stagecraft Institute of Las Vegas, also known as SILV, S-I-L-V, is an intensive hands-on learning program designed to train and educate the next generation of theater professionals. I chose this opportunity because it most aligns with my career goals of becoming a working theater technician. And it afforded me the opportunity to get hands-on with the equipment, technology, and practices used in the modern entertainment industry. I found this learning opportunity after searching for it with help from my faculty advisor, Dr. Deborah Martin, who showed me that there were so many internships out there for people like me, but that stagecraft has a unique connection with Berea College. There have been many people who went to Berea and also went to Sylv, and I made connections with one of them who currently works as the youngest lighting technician at the Actors Theater of Louisville. With her encouragement and advising from my faculty advisor, Dr. Martin, I decided to go to Sylv, even above other wonderful opportunities that I could have done, such as the Santa Fe Opera and the Glimmerglass Festival in New York. I chose SILV because it was a unique experience and because of the connection that it already has with Berea College. Why is it in Las Vegas? Las Vegas is known as Sin City and Casino Central, but it is also one of the entertainment hubs of the nation. It has incredible venues hosting everyone from touring musicians to in-house productions. It is one of two homes of Cirque du Soleil, the largest theatrical company in the world, which boasts seven resident Las Vegas shows with more on the way. These shows are housed in beautiful theaters like the Bellagio Theater, which houses the Cirque show O, and these shows sell out every night. I had the privilege of seeing many of these shows and even going backstage and working with the people who work on these projects. At SILV, we learned that it's all about the experience. This was eight weeks of really hands-on learning. Each week was taught by a different industry professional, someone who was volunteering their time because they truly believed in what SILV has to offer. This kind of immersive experience is not available anywhere else in the nation. So it was really unique for me to be able to go and learn with all kinds of people who are going the same way that I am. We learned in those weeks things like digital drafting using programs such as Vectorworks and AutoCAD. We drafted lighting plots, stages, sets, scenery. This is a valuable skill, indispensable for someone who wants to be a theater technician. We learned the basics of rigging hanging loads, climbing heights. We learned how to do this safely to maintain the best and most efficient workplace. We also learned one of my favorite things, 
pyrotechnics and special effects. <laughs> Setting things on fire just for fun and because it looks really cool. <laughs> we got to learn the care and feeding of pyrotechnics, smoke machines, fog machines. We even got to take one apart and put it back together again. I got to see its guts and how it actually makes the flames shoot up there in the air. This was also an instance where safety is of paramount importance, as was power cabling, power distribution, that thing that electrical engineers know how to do but really confuses the rest of us. We learned how to calculate the total electrical draw of a rig and how to hook it all up in a way that maintains the safety of the technicians, the performers, and the audience members. But I think my favorite part of the SILV experience was the final three weeks, affectionately known as Big Rig. When we loaded in and what hung lights on our very own show. This was mimicking a concert show layout. We hung all of our own fixtures, some of which are so cutting edge that people working in the industry now haven't even got their hands on them. We programmed them using lighting consoles donated for the cause from people who believe in Silt's in Silt's message. And we learned things like programming cues, busking live to music using nothing but a few presets in your wits. And we learned how to create video and media content using programs like Resolume, Blender, and Adobe Suite. I experienced a lot of challenges and successes in this part of the program, these final three weeks. And I think that's why it's my favorite. Syl offered me all of this because of Jane Childs, the founder and director, who with her husband, Don Childs, <coughs> decided to found SILV because of a gap they perceived in the academic world. They realized that colleges and universities were not producing adequately prepared theater technicians, and they had knowledge which they wanted to share. SILV was founded in 2006 after nearly 40 years of wishing, dreaming, and planning, all because Jane and Don had a dream and wanted to pay it forward. This was the theme of the summer, that knowledge is not ours to keep, it is only ours to share. This is important because I feel like it illustrates the entrepreneurial leadership mindset that we at EPG are striving so hard for. What we have, we ought not to keep to ourselves, we ought to share for the benefit of others. So let me tell you, some of the challenges that I experienced this summer. Challenge number one, or as I like to call it, being a regular person in a lighting technician's world. When I arrived in Las Vegas, I quickly realized that I knew nothing about lighting technology, and nearly everyone else around me did. Some of them had even been working professionally as lighting technicians for years. I felt pretty inferior because I had a gap in my knowledge that none of the rest of them did. But I realized that we were all there for the same purpose. We were all there to learn. And the way I was thinking was in a fixed mindset. I was telling myself, I can't do it, instead of, I can't do it yet. Knowing this helped me adopt a growth mindset of saying, I can learn, I'm here to learn, and to tackle this problem and come out on the other end. Thanks to Sylv, and thanks to my growth mindset, I can say that from someone who has never touched a lighting console in their life before this summer, I am a lighting programmer. I can be a lighting technician. Challenge number two came at the end of the summer when in the third week of Big Rig, the eighth week of the program, my team and I were given the challenge of programming a lighting show to the song Bohemian Rhapsody <laughs> in under 20 minutes. This is challenging for even those who are prepared, but for us, for whom the challenge had come pretty much out of left field, it felt impossible. But as a team, we met together, we quickly dispersed tasks among the team members, we assigned one creative team lead, and we got the job done. In those frantic, hectic 20 minutes, we created a lighting show really, really hastily thrown together and probably not as polished as it could have been, but we presented it on time and to great applause. This showed me that collaboration, 
creativity, and resilience really do help overcome problems, and that these EPG abilities are valued by the SILV program and by the entertainment industry at large, because without those, how are you going to run a show? So what's next for me? When I graduate in December 2019, if all goes according to plan, I plan to sign a contract as a touring backstage technician on a cruise ship. This is really exciting and really scary for me. Someone who expected that I would probably settle down at a regional theater somewhere and just like live the rest of my life in more or less one place. I wanted to pack up my bags and go someplace, but I was afraid to. I didn't know if I had what it takes. But having made connections with people at SILV over the summer, people who have done the exact same thing, I feel I am prepared to take that gigantic, scary step forward. In my time here remaining at Berea, I plan to make connections with people that I found at SILV, keep reaching out to them, keep contacting them. I plan to polish my portfolio and my resume, and I plan to expand my skill set as much as I can with the resources that are available to me here. I also, in the spirit of paying my knowledge forward, plan to share what I've learned at SILV, and I'd like to share a little of that with you now. I'd like to give you three pieces of advice. Number one, don't be afraid to be the least experienced person in the room. I felt afraid when I realized that I was not at all prepared to be a lighting tech. But I learned, and so can you. I grew, and so will you. Number two, if you're in the room, it's because someone wanted you there. You have a right to be in the room. I felt like a fake because I didn't know how to do something that everyone else around me did. But I tackled the problem. I moved forward. I became a lighting technician. I was not a fake, and neither are you. And finally, take everything you can with both hands and hold on tight. If someone offers you an opportunity, go for it. If someone offers you training, take it. Collect those business cards, make those phone calls, send those emails, make those connections and hold on to them. Take everything that you can and make something out of it. And be better than you were yesterday. Thank you. Some other opportunities that I've considered are working in 
entertainment parks such as Disneyland and Disney World, which have, we got a backstage tour of Disneyland, actually that was pretty awesome. We got to see how the whole park runs. That's a really wonderful opportunity because it affords stage technicians the opportunity to go to a lot of different aspects of backstage theater, so not just lighting, not just sound, not just carpentry, any and all of that, all in the same workplace. There's also Tuacon Theater in Utah, which is kind of an incubator for a lot of shows that immediately go to Broadway, which is really exciting and not something I'd heard about before the summer. Yes. So, did you at least, were you at least familiar with the Bohemian Rap or did they just drop the song on you too? <laughs> Who isn't familiar with Bohemian Rap? <laughs> 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 like my heart. I know the words, but when you're programming to a show, it's more than just about the words. It's about like the mood of the song, the themes, the tempo, like beats per minute is a really important thing that you don't really li think about when you're just listening to it for enjoyment's sake. It's something that you absolutely have to think about if you're planning to make a strobe light to beat in that guitar solo. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yes. Did they at least to I was not, oh, not okay. familiar to that level. That was pretty scary for all of us because none of us were. We had it on our phone, we had Spotify just listening to it, just <laughs> listening to it over and over, programming pretty frantically as we went. 